Ah, JJ plagiarism is also known as old painful, trying to cling on for dear relevance, even though his entire years of terror campaign have been ended by the absolutely brilliant video that was uploaded by Tyler Mason a few months back. I remember when that video dropped, I was sitting in the hospital at the time, and my phone beeped, and when I saw the, the video was going to drop, I just thought, oh, that's going to be worth a watch. But it's going live at about three in the morning, so uh, yeah, I stayed up and I watched it, and I thought, that's it. JJ Plagiarisms, that's it. That's the end. No one needs to make a video on the guy again. It's over. I feel that a lot of my own content on him was getting repetitive. It was all just the same stuff over and over and over again. There was no variation. The guy just kept parroting the same points. His arguments are severely flawed. It's all just the Cartman straw man that he comes up with, as well as ad hominem attacks against people. He doesn't have any valid arguments of his own, so he just attacks the character of other people, accuses other people of lying about things with no conclusive proof. Apparently he's making accusations now against Drongo Dingo, his evidence being some very oddly cropped screenshots. I don't know what context is missing behind this cropping, but this is... This seems to be evidence that he's trying to manufacture himself, judging by the, the inaccuracies of the, the cropping here. I would say that these, uh, these screenshots are manufactured. There's an account that you see every time that any kind of drama from JJ Plagiarisms uh, comes up. The account goes by the name of Ryan Barth. I have no doubt that that is JJ Plagiarism's sock puppet account. It's a fake. It's a phony. It's a fake! I believe here what we're looking at with the accusations against Drongo Dingo is JJ Plagiarism's using another fake account to basically create evidence and then just just, just dumping it somewhere, and then he's went in, taken the uh, badly cropped fake evidence screenshots of that that he needs to uh, to prove a point. You know, JJ Plagiarism is the first person to say, "Oh, you you can't say things like that without having evidence." But the fact is, I don't believe that a YouTube comment is is evidence. If I went onto a video just now and said something along the lines of, "I'm a uh, a 12 foot tall giraffe and I'm also a traffic warden and my favourite author is William Shatner when he wrote the Tech War books. I, I don't think that I could be held as um, that being an absolute truth. I think that JJ Plagiarisms seems to just want people to see things in black and white. Everything I say is the truth and is indisputable. He doesn't understand the finer points of debating and calling out uh, for for proof and evidence. It's it's something that when he asks for it himself, that's fine. But when other people ask it of him, is oh, you're just a troll. Oh, um, trust me, bro. That kind of thing. JJ Plagiarism's like a predator has given a, a call out for his next victims that he would like to go after. So just a few hours after posting uh, what could be termed as defamation against Drongo Dingo, JJ Plagiarisms has put up a post asking people for their least favourite Star Wars channels.
it looks like JJ Plagiarism is trying to trying to basically get eyes on him so that he can go after other YouTubers. The, the cycle begins again, ladies and gentlemen. He's um he's going to go after somebody. He'll end up biting off more than he can chew. And then he'll scurry back to his channel and go, oh, I'm being bullied and harassed. I want respect. You know, that kind of thing. The cycle will repeat. That's the thing with online bullies like JJ Plagiarisms. He can dish it out easily, but when the shoe's on the other foot and someone says something against or about him, it's, oh, I'm being bullied and harassed. on YouTube! This person's got to be arrested! Apparently in his uh, his false flagging Discord server, he, he brings me up and he calls me homophobic. Now, I had no idea that he was gay. I'm not interested, I don't think that's relevant. And being that I'm not homophobic, I don't care. Thing is, it's something that he's never mentioned in the last four years. So he's only bringing it up now to to weaponize it against me. As a Star Trek fan, you know, the good science fiction. I believe in the term idic, infinite diversity in infinite combinations. I don't dislike him for being gay. I dislike him because he's been a dick to all my mates for years. I dislike him because he's a dick. It's as simple as that. It's another debating fail that he has. It's Occam's Razor, which basically says that the the most simplest explanation for the thing is generally the correct one. But instead, he's taken a complicated thing that I didn't know about, and then he's turned that around into an ad hominem attack against me. I'm going to tell you that I'm gay now, so Stu Dog's homophobic. He's fat now, apparently. If he was an overweight kid, that would help. Is that real? Or is that just sympathy bait? Oh, crap, that's no good. Isaac, can you make him fatter? That's better. People will like him now. It really does sound like a trauma story that he's using as a shield because he's a hypocrite. He accused me of lying about my job, even though I can quite easily prove that right here by showing an email about getting the job, as well as in this photo you can see that I'm logged into my YouTube email address there, which is shown here on the back end of my YouTube channel. <laughs> 